All right, Doug, thank you. Now, a lot of you followed this story on our KTU 11 Facebook page yesterday. Greenpeace protesters suspended themselves from the Fred Hartman Bridge all day. The final protesters were arrested overnight, but this is far from the first time the organization has pulled a stunt like this. Melissa Correa connects the dots. Greenpeace is well known for its protests and partially shutting down Houston's ship channel is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's connect the dots. Just a couple of years ago, Greenpeace protesters shut down a major intersection in Washington, D.C. by climbing a huge construction crane near the White House and unfurling this massive banner reading, Resist. This was just days after President Trump moved into the White House. And in 2015, the activists pulled a very similar stunt, climbing the St. John's Bridge in Portland to protest an icebreaker owned by Shell that was leaving port to explore the coast of Alaska. In that case, they even devised a way to raise and lower themselves to let the boats pass. In 2013, 30 Greenpeace demonstrators and two journalists in Russia were charged with piracy for protesting against the country's drilling for oil in the Arctic. So when it comes to high-flying, high-profile protests, this is definitely not Greenpeace's first rodeo. Connecting the dots, I'm Melissa Correa for H-Town Rush.